person. Koenig and Wolf, I'm Doug Wolf, and with me, the best dressed man in television, Clay Koenig. <laughs> you look very nice today, sir. Thank you, you do too, sir. What, thank, you. thank you for lying. <laughs> Editorial this week, I think, is pretty interesting. Online gambling. Yes, sir. So I was taking a look, you know, first of all, you know, I'm going through town and you see all these slot machine signs and stuff like that. And there's a ton of them here. I did put $10 in one of those machines. I remember last year, I got 20 back. So I'm ahead of the game. I've quit. I've never gone back to it. I remember when I was in college, there was video poker called Cherry Masters. And I was addicted to it. I'm not kidding you. I would take, I remember make $106 a week bartending at this biker bar. And $106 would go right into the Cherry Master, think I'm going to get everything pink and, you know, all these riches coming towards me. People spending a lot of money. Yeah. I think right now governments can't survive anymore without the gambling. So what we've got here, we, got, we were the first state to have the lottery, okay? Okay. That was in 74. Then in 1990, I covered it over in Springfield, the legislature passed riverboat gambling. And to have gambling in Illinois, you had to have a riverboat on a river Correct. at the Mississippi. And it had to be out floating around yes. before you could gamble. Now, they're all moored forever. They don't go up and down the rivers. Sure. You've got every gas station, every bar has these gambling machines. But you've got municipalities, towns, cities. They can't live without this money anymore because now they're financing the fire departments, police departments, public works with all this money coming in. You've told me, you see the, some of the printouts for what we make here in Decatur. Some of these little places are making a fortune off of the gambling. Tens of thousands of dollars a month. I mean, that's real money, especially from an establishment that's trying to survive with liquor or food, because everything's changed since COVID and everything like that. Sure. So these people are trying to survive. And then, then you got like that pilot station out by uh, Interstate 72 and Route 48. I haven't looked at that in a few years, but they were bringing in huge amounts of money because you get these truckers to stop overnight right. and right. they would use the machines. So I think the revenue, the tax revenue, I don't think we can ever go back. It's not a case. I know we had one city councilman here who was arguing, you know, about all the evils of uh, gambling and stuff like that, but you can't get rid of it now. Once it's here, it's here for good. So when the lottery originally started, I remember they were going to earmark a lot of that income towards education. Right. But what they did was they pulled the funding from education and allowed the lottery to replace the money. So it wasn't an the addition The way of I funds. think they did it is the money came in and they used it for education, but they almost take an equal amount out of the general fund that may have gone to education, use it for something else. So kind of backdoored it out. Um, I guess technically it's still going to education. And really, is the lottery where the money is anymore? And I don't think so. I think it's those slot machines. I know in your editorial, you talk about see the signs all over town for it. I think that's where the money is now as far as bringing in revenue. Um, the state gets the biggest chunk of that money. The cities and municipalities, not as much. But again, it's enough to keep a lot of these uh, small towns and cities floating. Well, when we come back, uh, Doug, we're going to talk about the addictions and what machines are the most addicting in, in casinos. So that'll okay. be interesting. Sure. So you're going to be back with us on Caning versus Wolf. All right, you're watching Caning versus Wolf, and uh, Doug and I are talking about online gambling. So I looked on Google, of course, you're getting all this information. We talked about what machines are the most addicting. Slot machines. Yeah. Out of anything that's out there, Video poker or anything, slot machines are the number one for addiction. Yeah, and, and slot machines are part of those video poker machines. I mean, those video slot machines. Right. Because yeah. I know the one, the one game I will play is video poker. I'll play that. But I don't do the hit it where the wheel goes around. Sure. I don't, I don't even understand that. I don't know what the heck you're trying to do with that. So let me ask you a question. When it was really the one-armed bandit and yeah. you're pulling and you're like seeing casino. these reels. Yeah, you're seeing these reels going yeah. around, but now everything's electronic. To me, that's a little sketchy. You could have somebody out there, you know, controlling these machines and saying, nah, that guy's not going to win today. Go right? <laughs> well, know, or the machine's not placed out in the open where everybody can gather when everybody's hitting the well, jackpot. Well, when you went to Las Vegas, though, I mean, they have so many machines in these, in these casinos. I don't know that they really had the ability back in the old days with the manual ones to sit and do that. Maybe on the electronic ones they do. But you go into a casino now, you don't hear the money hitting the tray anymore. Right. You get a ticket. Yeah. I mean, there's no coins. There's to me, no part of the whole allure hands. of Vegas was the 
Ching, 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 yes, ching, ching, absolutely. The, the money hitting the, uh, hit the, the trays. So now everything is gravitating towards online. Illinois a few years ago, right. online gambling. $55 billion a year being spent on online gambling. And it's growing nationwide. so much. That nationwide? That's nationwide. Okay. Yeah. So by November of this year, by November 1st of this year, we will already have surpassed everything that was bet the previous year. That's how this is exponentially growing. So you can just add a billion, add a billion, add a billion, basically what it's boiling down to. Number one, where are people getting the money? Number two, are they living beyond their means? And number three, is anybody ever winning? I mean, you always hear the story, yeah, somebody, you know, 27-year-old went to Vegas, ended up winning $4.2 million on a, on a, a slot machine jackpot, yeah. progressive and stuff like that. But I mean, honestly, $55 billion, that means that billions are being lost every right. single year. Right. You know? And it's, it's not only the slot machines, it's the sports books. I think there's a lot of money being dropped into sports, baseball, football, hockey, you know. And like you said, with the online stuff, a lot of that is, is sports. We just had uh, the first week of football the other day, and I'm sure there are a lot of people uh, sitting at home dropping money right off their Absolutely. iPhone into, into the Chicago Bears and <laughs> their shirts, you know, into the 49ers, name a team, and they were probably laying enough money, you know. Sure. I think, I think that's going to just explode. Well, DraftKings, uh, what are the order them on? MGM has one. Caesars has one. FanDuel. FanDuel, I'm, yeah. They're yeah. all over the place. And you know what? I actually, I took $100. I threw it into one of those accounts. Uh -huh. I played with it for the last couple of weeks, just having some fun, $10 right. bet here, $5 bet here. Right. And, and now, now you're gonna retire? Well, I'm not gonna retire. Actually, all $100 <laughs> is gone now, so uh -oh. I had my fun. Okay. And you know what's interesting is, you know, when you're looking at, you have everything from the convenience of your phone. And I'm not kidding you. You can watch the baseball game that you're betting on. Right. They can switch over to the horses. You can bet the horses, and I can see every race running. So I can take this and Bluetooth it right up to my TV. Right. So I'm watching it full screen, HD, the whole thing, mm -hmm. and I've got money laid across. They put up parlay bets for you. So when you're opening up your phone and you go to your account, they have you sign in every single time with location to make sure that you're legally able to bet from that state that you're in. And if you don't allow any type of tracking whatsoever, they're not going to allow you they're to not make the bet. They're not going to do that. Right. No. But they put up all these parlay bets, and one of the first bets that I won, Justin Steele, pitcher for the Cubs, was going to throw his first pitch as a ball. Now, this guy has got the lowest ERA in the league, and I thought they were talking about the competition's pitcher. So when I placed the bet, the, the Cincinnati Reds, they were playing the Reds, Cincinnati Reds pitcher gets up there, he throws a ball the first time, I thought I won, and I'm looking for my collection. It was betting $10 to win $15.80. So it was $25.80 full collect. So I look on there, I'm like, oh, I bet Justin Steele, and here's the number one pitcher. Justin Steele to get up there, and he did throw a ball. So I did collect on that. <laughs> then I took that $25.80, and I put it in a parlay prop bet that this, this, uh, right. you know, this program. So to did. me, because I don't take a lot of risk, yeah. I would just bet win or loser. You know, okay. All right, are the White Sox going to beat the Royals today? Right. One of those deals. You know, I, I, I don't take much risk beyond that. To it's me, the that, safest bet. To me, it's a 50-50 chance. Yes, you know. the safest bet, yeah. for sure. But when they're always throwing the odds on there, and you, we were talking I about I don't this understand stuff. them. Well, What's what, a plus 110? What the heck is that? So <laughs> plus 110 is basically you're betting $100 to get back 110 Okay. So you would collect $210 on that bet. I see. Okay? Okay. So if there is a minus behind it, you, let's say it was minus 135 you are going to have to bet $135 to collect $100 back. So you're betting the favorite there, of course, right? Yeah. Because you have to bet more to win less. Okay. Basically what it boils I down see. to. But when you were talking about winner or loser, that really is the smart way to do it. When you start putting all these parlays oh and my. this happened and this right. happened, that's so where people lose their money. I'm in Las Vegas one year. Okay. For the Super Bowl. Okay. All right. The sports books are jammed. And they give you, is it a parlay thing where they give you the sheet and it says... Who's going to uh, be the first to score? Who's going to be the first to catch a catch? Who's going to throw the first pass? I mean, it's so detailed. Coin toss. Yeah. Yeah. Heads Who's going to win coin toss? You know, and then you can still, during the game, make other bets. Right. You know. Yeah, during the game. Right. So they're putting all those prop bets all the time right. for you the during the game. The 49ers scored 20 points in the second quarter. Will they score 20 points in the third quarter? Well, they you scored know. 30 yesterday, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> 
different editorial. That's where your $100 went. Right. <laughs> so where do you think all this online betting is going to be? I mean, is this going to continue to grow? Yes. Is there going to be some tipping point oh. where it's just... At some point, there's going to be an explosion somewhere. Yeah. And I mean, there's going to be some big fallout, and everybody's going to be going, oh, I knew that was going to happen. And they truly and, and all these online betting places, you know, they have where you can use tools where you can bet X amount of dollars during an X amount of period. I mean, they're trying to, you know, show type, some type of responsibility, I understand. Right. But the bottom line is, I honestly believe people are living right. beyond their means to gamble. And I bet our time is up. I right bet now. it is, too. I bet it is, too. And... Uh, We'll catch you next time. Thanks for joining us.